a 10 or are you looking for a house but you feel like you're just on the edge of whether or not you can afford it? Well, tonight the city of Hannibal hosted a program that is designed to help you out. WGEM's Brett Neese was there. He joins us now from the newsroom with what you need to know, Brett. Well, Dylan Alexandra, six different agencies say they have programs to help you out. It's just a matter of people taking advantage of them. The USDA and NECAC are two of those agencies that were there tonight. They have programs designed around home ownership, and one of those programs includes a low-interest home loan that doesn't require a down payment. NECAC officials say it's programs like this that can make it easier to own your own place, which they say has a lot of benefits. If you're renting and you think how much money you've already paid out in rent, you can be paying a home. You can be paying on a home that belongs to you, that you're building equity in. You know, I always say for people like all of us, the only way we build equity is by home ownership. A number of potential homeowners attended the event, including Tracy Hodges. She says after years of renting, it's always been a goal of hers to own her own place. I've always wanted my own house that I could call my own, but just wasn't sure if I'd be able to qualify, so I'm excited to see what, the, what it brings me. Officials with each agency say their programs are still available. If you missed tonight's event, they say give them a call and they can find out what grants or loans you may qualify for. Brett Neese, WGEM News. Okay, Brett, thank you. In addition to NECAC and the USDA, Douglas Community Services, Mark Twain Regional Council of Governments, Homeless Prevention Grant, and the Missouri Housing Development Commission were all at the open house tonight. And this story will continue tomorrow on WGEM News Today. Hear from city officials about how they hope a housing resource open house like tonight and the programs the agencies talked about can help improve the community as a whole. WGEM News Today starts at 5 a.m.